Good morning, you guys. Happy Thursday. I'm going to try to get this up tonight. I really have been liking filming the same day and then posting the same day. I don't know. It feels kind of like, I don't know, it just, it just feels good. So, if not, happy Friday. But I thought what I would do today is just turn on the camera while I put my makeup on so it was just like actually what I'm using and what I've been liking lately because I feel like I do have a lot of good new recommendations and I've really liked how my makeup has looked lately. I need to put something on my lips. My hair is still kind of wet. I just got out of the shower maybe like an hour ago. I'm just kind of like doing the thing where I let it air dry, like no big deal. This, you guys, if you saw my stories yesterday uh, with Olivia where she grabbed her um, lipstick and some new stuff, I grabbed this, the Buxom Plump Shot, and I saved the box because it's just, it's called Filler. Collagen infused lip serum, plumps, plumps, increases volume, decreases lip lines, and then, oh my gosh, you guys, the white Russian sparkle. I cannot, just so excited about that. Okay, so we're gonna get ready and do all the things. Oh, I wish I would have used these. Oh, well, I didn't. My, my eye masks, I meant to do that. And then I started setting up everything. It's so like I'll put it on while I set up, and then I totally didn't. Um, but I thought it would be kind of fun. I'll put my hair up in a second to do just like one of these where we talk about everything because oh my gosh, I feel like we have a lot to talk about just like with stuff going on, stuff going on with us and stuff, but like also like TV show, like things that I'm into and some like gossipy stuff. Okay, I really need to put my hair back. I love these silk scrunchies. My hair is gonna be it's still damp, but whatever. Yeah, let's just go for it. Okay, so I used my black tourmaline face primer, which I feel kind of is like skincare, honestly. I feel kind of like no matter what you use on your skin, this kind of like makeup or whatever, this protects your skin from like breakouts and grossness. It has like charcoal in it. It's good if you're breakout prone. This stuff, okay, so I didn't really talk about it much, the Plump Shot from Buxom. If you're used to the Buxom lip glosses, which oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you guys this white Russian sparkle. The Buxom ones have like that plumping effect, but it's a little more like cooling. This one is a little more intense. It's kind of making my lips a little pink. All right, and then I've been loving this, the Clinique Even Better Serum Foundation. So as we go and talk, like if I don't zoom, or like if I don't like focus in on every single little thing, um, I'm gonna link to everything below. And I don't even have stuff set out to use. I'm just gonna go for it. I grabbed this beauty blender, cause it was, I mean it was 20 bucks, but it came with like a pretty big sized soap. The beauty bl blender cleanser. And I've been just getting the beauty blenders from Amazon that I love. And honestly, this one is so like rough and spongy that I kind of miss my other one. So I don't know, I'm just not really, I kind of feel stupid for buying this again. I don't know. My lips are getting really red from that lip gloss. But yeah, this was just so like scratchy. I don't know. I kind of just want to use like my peaky one again. I did that just so that I would have like a clean one to use. Now I'm kind of like, I just want to use this one. I feel so dumb for buying that. It was like at the checkout as we were leaving and I just grabbed it. But these are so, these are just, oh, these are so good. A few things before we get into it. Um, the Nordstrom sale is still going on and I got a lot of really good stuff you guys today I was like okay am I gonna get like cute and faint I don't know I just wanted to wear like what I would actually put on and you guys these are those sets that I talk about all the time again like I have towels all over the floor for the echo so don't judge um, and my, my, un, my unfolded laundry I have this set in two colors I would love them all they're such good quality it's so worth it, you guys. I mean, honestly, like, it's a nicer brand set, so it is a little more expensive, but the quality is just so good, and I actually got a really cute one um, yesterday at Target that is kind of similar, but they didn't have many sizes, uh, but I think you can order it. I'll link that below. It's super cute. Um, obviously, like, I mean, it's not made quite as, like, this one's thicker, and I, you know, this one just, I don't know, like, I can wash and dry these, they don't do anything. I don't know how the other one's gonna hold up, but the other one's super cute, so I will link that. I think we're probably gonna go grab lunch in a little bit. Livia's, like, fully on summer vacation. We made it through the kindergarten year, which, oh my gosh, you guys, did you see her, um, 
graduation photos on Instagram. Oh my gosh, with their little pink gown. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. But anyways, I wanted to show this. I almost wore this today. This is not part sale, but I think it's like 20 something dollars anyways. This t-shirt is so flippin' cute. I love it. Uh, and then, of course, oh my gosh, I almost wore this. Then I was like, I just wore this in the last video. I want to get another one of these. The red, if you did not see that, go to my Instagram. And also, listen, my last video about the Bottega bag and then I tried on a whole bunch of stuff. Don't miss that video. There were some of the best clothing items in there because it was mainly like a clothing try-on. And then, of course, like I shared the story. This is falling out of the Bottega bag. But, um... Oh my gosh, you guys, don't miss that one because it was some of the best, uh, the best pieces ever. And um, I'll link to that. If you I think today, go to my Instagram. I'm going to post a photo wearing this outfit because I just bought these pieces separately on Nordstrom. If you do shop the sale, grab these. This top is so cute. It doesn't look like it would be. It is so flattering and stretchy, and it comes in like a blushy color too. And when I was trying it on in the video, I put it on with these pants, and I actually really like these together. So um, I'm going to post like a whole little outfit on my Instagram so you can see all of those together. But I just feel like there's so many good things right now. Yeah, but this, if you can grab this, um, I know I saw that they restocked this a few times. I grabbed this as a part of the sale. It's just like a little off the shoulder, you know, kind of like top. And I tried, did I try this on in the video? I think so. Uh, I showed this. It's also in black. And you guys know if I find something in a color, I mean, I think we're all kind of like that. You're just like, oh my gosh, did I get the other color? The black one, last I checked, was in stock in all the sizes. And then another heads up with this sale, I broke it down by category um, on my Like to Know It, which honestly, you got to think of that like as a blog. You don't need to have the app, although it's easy. If you have Instagram, anyways, it's like, so easy you just follow the people that you like whatever but like i will link below like to my post with my accessory and shoe racks and you can click it and it'll take you to it like in your browser and it's like the post it's like a photo and then below it has all the links when i used to have my blog i would write these big posts and all these photos and stuff and then at the bottom it would be all the links that's what like to know it is but it is for people that don't have time to read all those wordy posts, like it's like if you're looking for a recipe or something and it's like, oh, there's nothing worse than I'm like, look, I just need this recipe for this dang broccoli salad or whatever the hell it is. And someone is like, you know, it's like broccoli salad recipe. It's like, here's what we did this weekend, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't want, like, and I'm trying to get to the recipe. I feel like, like to notice just like, you just want to know what, what the stuff is, right? Like you post a picture and it's like, here's things and then there's things below it. It's so easy. But, um, so I'm, I broke it down by like categories, you know, so like clothing and then I have a whole category just for denim, beauty stuff. Um, but I'll do links below where you just click and if you want to look at all my shoe recs, there'll be a post about it. So I don't know. It's just, I mean, I just, it's just so easy. But if you guys, these Miller sandals, they're so good and comfortable. These are like my sandals that are always by the door. Do you know what I'm saying? Like. I keep them in my laundry room, like where we have all of our shoes, kind of this like little mudroom area. These are like the shoes I keep down there because wherever I go, whatever I'm wearing, I can throw these on and I love them. These, I think, were on like certain colors, were on like 40%. So, um, okay, so just check those out, whatever. And then if you get it, I don't think this is on sale, this set, but if you're ordering stuff, just check this set out. I just love it. I'm like, I'm just gonna keep it real and wear what I was actually gonna wear today. I'm like, not get all cute because 99% of the time I'm like in sweats and these cute little sets y'all okay let's let's talk about what's going on so my friends and I like when I talk to my friend we talk about like tv shows things like that obviously so I'll link to everything that I'm using like I said so things that I've been into lately so my friend recommended Virgin River on Netflix and I kind of like binged that and then I told my grandma about it my grandma's like yeah Tiffany um I've read all 21 books and Da, 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 da. And of course, I watched that like three years ago. I was like, Grandma. So, um, so anyways, I have been binging that and I like it. I just watched the finale last night. I think the new, it's nothing new. I think it came out like a couple years ago. But um, it's pretty good. It's very, like my friend said, a very like cozy feeling TV show. They do have a new season coming up in July, which is exciting. 
Um, and those aren't Jack's babies. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Those aren't Jack's babies. I'm not gonna get too deep into that because I know maybe a lot of you guys haven't watched that. Let's talk about like the Erica Jane stuff and like all this stuff on Housewives because I feel like when you talk about like TV shows or like pop culture, I feel like all the Bravo shows are just so much like, you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's gotten so popular and so big and they always have been, but I honestly feel like, you know, these last seasons of certain ones haven't been that great, but I do feel like there's kind of a little bit of a backlash. Like people are always critical of these shows and always have like an opinion, but I also feel like maybe we're just so used to all this crazy stuff or we're used to these crazy TV shows or whatever that it's like our standards like too high. Like, can we even be pleased? Like, cause every time I talk about these shows to my friends, I'm like, well, I hated this or I didn't like that or, oh, this is so annoying. For but I guess it's just part of it. Like, that's what we talk about, that's what we do. But, but what is happening like behind the scenes, like in the real lives of some of these people is so crazy. Like Jen Shaw that got arrested. I think she's gonna be like arrested like on camera. Like I think it happened while they were filming. Um, the Erica Jane thing is crazy. They're gonna do this ABC special on it, like a documentary called The Housewife and the Hustler. And it's like an ABC, like, like it's, I just feel like it's obviously, and it's a big story, but it's not just like this little like Bravo, you know, story. It's like, you know, it's like all these things are making like national headlines of like the things that these people are doing and this crazy shit that these people are getting involved in. And I think that's gonna be interesting. And honestly, like if you've watched the season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, like there's only a couple episodes that have been up so far. I would really recommend it. Like I feel like this is gonna be a good season, but what is so interesting, putting a little bit of this powder bronzer over this, is how much the editors truly hate Erica. Like when I was watching this, I was like, I can't even believe that they're showing all that they're showing. Like either they're really gonna protect her because like if you haven't heard about this and you're like under a rock, this has been a big story. Like this isn't just if you're a fan of Housewives. Like this is something that's been like on the news. You know, it's been on different things. Like everybody's talking about it. Erica Girardi, like she's, you know, like 40s, you know, late 40s, whatever. I don't, I don't know exactly how old she is. She's married to this man that's in his 80s. They've been married for years, like for what, 20, 30 years, something crazy. I get it, like, you know, he's this really like high powered lawyer in Beverly Hills, um, or LA, whatever, just this really famous LA lawyer, okay? And, um, you know, on the show, she's like, oh, I spend 40,000 a month on Glam, and you know, they have like all these fancy cars and this big house, and you know, just very showy. She has like the expensive, ooh, it's expensive to be me and stuff, like her whole persona is like, you know, like over the top, like she has that it's expensive to be me song and all of this and just, craziness, right? They announced that they were divorcing like last November and then this huge lawsuit, like a federal, I think it's like a federal case against him for like misappropriating funds that his uh, clients were awarded. So like, you know, he owns a law firm, right? He's representing these huge cases. Like there was that, what is it? Like the Boeing case, I don't know, some case about like, you know, he was representing plane crash victims, um, people that were widowed, people that were orphaned, and you know, these people that like deserve this settlement from this company, whatever. And they were awarded it millions and millions of dollars. And the idea is kind of what happened over the year, and this happened with several different huge cases, right? I think what happened over the years is that like he operated it like, yeah, he would win a case, he would get the money, and then he would kind of use that money to like pay out his clients that won, you know, the settlements from maybe another case because it was kind of like he was spending, you know, allegedly what they're saying is that the case is saying that like he used these funds for his personal benefit like when he was awarded, you know, the settlement or whatever for certain cases that he won and I think it was like I don't even want to, is this crazy like 200 million dollar 20 million something crazy, okay? It was a lot of money. 
um, wasn't just like a couple million dollars. When the money would come up, like when they were awarded the money, that wouldn't go straight to the people that he, he would be using that to pay off like old things and then he was getting behind and these people never got their money. Do you know what I'm saying? They kind of like went into their finances and you know their companies and seeing like well did it go through any of her companies. I think on like some of their LLCs like she was named as like secretary on some of those and like some so her name is in, involved in some of these things and people are like well did she know? And this lavish lifestyle that we've been seeing on this reality show that some people I know that are watching this right now are like I don't watch that it's like drama whatever but it's like this is interesting it's not just like cat fights and women or whatever it's like you've been watching this and something really big has been going on behind the scenes and like we've been seeing this you know could this be something you know is there something to that and his business could have been just his business maybe she didn't know I have no idea so the whole thing is just kind of like disgusting like when you look at the story and I'm just like not feeling it okay for every day a lot of times I just leave it like this or I'll put just like a little bit of this powder over it just because I feel like it lasts longer and it's kind of the same color and the same vibe as those um as those shadows it'll be interesting to see what happens um, and I can't wait to watch that documentary. I think it's just crazy. But the show, and what's interesting is that this show, like what they're showing now, was filmed, I think, maybe like October. Filmed right before, I know, she announced her divorce. Just like she's talking about how much she, you know, admires her husband. And anytime they mention Tom, her husband, she's just like, oh, Tom. It's literally weeks before she announced her divorce in real life, like in November. So it's kind of like, what's really going on? and like what prompted that so quickly. I don't wanna show this because it looks really gross. <laughs> it's my green smoothie. I make this every morning and I've been doing it for like, I don't know, a few months now and I'll show you guys that in a video soon. I'll make it for y'all. Um, um, like I said, I'm gonna do, if you watch my stories yesterday on Instagram, I'm gonna do like a home vlog soon um, where I kind of just show you guys around like some different things and just kind of carry my camera around okay so I take this just very lightly so like on because this is kind of like every I don't want to say like glam like everyday glam but like I don't want to be too over the top but I want to look put together okay so back to the whole thing when I see the editors hate her I mean honestly you guys like they are not protecting this woman at all so the whole thing is like you know now their house is up for sale in real life like she's in this like smaller place in West Hollywood and she you know is I mean, I think he said that they only had like just a couple thousand dollars to their, like it's, it's crazy, but of course like the money, like if they are hiding it somewhere, it's just a lot, like all allegedly, whatever. It's, these are things that people are talking about, but it's very interesting to me how they're portraying her on the show because now they're going to be going back and they've said this, the guy that's like, I forgot what his name is, but it's this lawyer kind of going after her or building this case going over all of her belongings and all of their assets with like a fine tooth comb because they are saying they don't have this money to pay out these hundreds of or tens of millions of dollars i don't even know and he is going through like frame by frame he said of the tv show like now that it's back on past ones especially now that it's back on this new season like going through frame by frame like okay this necklace these you know this cartier ring this 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 that and I thought, you know, that happened a long time. They've edited things so last minute. Oh my gosh, what was it? Um, something happened one year and they like cut out a whole person like a, a week or like a, a month before, you know, or they changed things around. You know, they can do that like very last minute. So they could have really kind of not shown a lot about her personal or, or really protected her like the editors. They didn't like they came in so hot this season like let's zoom in on our closet just like freezing on like all of her expensive things which they've never really done that much. Um, that necklace and then they put like a little thing like a little um, text on the screen that was like how many carrots and how much and I was just like wow like they are really like outing this woman and the last one. I think like when it showed her scene, it started playing her like it's expensive to be me song. And I'm like, that's funny because they've never done that. Okay. I'm doing like just a really thin little flick of a wing. This is the best, the best eyeliner ever. You guys, I think in a recent makeup video, I showed you guys how I smudged it. You like, you can even take a little brush before it sets and smudge it. But I've been just doing like a really clean line with it and I really like it. 
but they're really showing and, and the guy supposedly the guy that is um, like the lawyer that's you know really putting together this case like against her he supposedly I think I heard is gonna get like half of the recovered assets like that's what he's gonna get and I'm thinking if they have all this money that they owe to these people and that's like like and they're trying to like scrape together every, why would he take okay I don't get it okay whatever I don't get it whatever I mean I get it he's like the lawyer he's gonna get a percentage of what he wins but it's like okay like let's I don't know. I don't understand how all that works. I just think that's so crazy. Supposedly this is before she has news or she's gotten wind of any of the legal problems because that's going to be the thing coming up. All the women are going to be like, well, is that why you filed for a divorce? Like, did you know this lawsuit was coming? Like, were you trying to separate yourself? Because they're saying that's kind of why she wanted to distance herself because she knew it was coming or maybe she was warned or something or maybe she just knew all along. I don't know. But I think it's really interesting that every time they have shown her closet, and I was even talking about this with a friend. My friend was like, oh my gosh, I did not pick that up. And I have not heard anybody say this like on any of the recaps or anything. Because people have talked about what I just said. Like how the editors must hate her because they're really like at, focusing on all of her things um, that could be used against her. Because that's honestly, they're using the show basically as like evidence. Which I think is so interesting. Um, I'm like so excited talking about this. I can't even do my eyeliner. But did you notice, like, Mikey and her assistant, he'll be like, oh, Fiorucci sent you this. Oh, this is what they sent you. He has said, sent you, sent you, sent you, probably ten times. Like, go back and watch. I mean, don't. I mean, whatever. I mean, you probably have a life and you don't need to do that. But I'm just saying, like, every scene where they're in her closet, like, oh, this is a moment. Like, this is so great. Like, let's put this together. Let's do that. He's always like, oh, they sent you this. Oh, this is what they sent you. And I'm thinking, did they know at that point and is that why, like, she had them film in her closet and say, like, okay, let's talk about how these are, let's talk about how, like, this works. Do you know what I'm saying? So that people don't think that I bought this. Or do you know what I mean? It's just crazy. I think recently, like, they tried, and, like, in real life recently, I think, like, they tried to, you know, trying to get things, you know, that are of value. And they tried to get, like, some of her jewelry. And she's like, I'm not giving that because it was a gift from him. And I get that, and, and that's, you know, if she didn't know. But on the other hand, like, she is married to this man, and I think to save face, whether she knew or not, I'd hate to say, I'd be giving up everything. Like, I'd be like, sure, take this, like, I hate the guy, whatever, but I was married to him, and he spent his money as a gift. She always, She's saying, I can't give this back because it was a gift. And I'm thinking, well, even so, he spent that money that should have gone to the, I'd give it all, you know what I'm saying? I just don't know. I don't know, who knows what anyone would do in that situation, but like, you know, and then I heard someone that's like, well, I hear people all the time too, that are like, look at all these women on Bravo, like, you know, Teresa, you know, they stopped the show for her when she went to jail, and Jen Shaw has been arrested for like scamming elderly people, and then they compared it all to Teresa, and I'm like, Teresa did something so shady to be on the show to show this like lifestyle they had that whole like federal case and it was a federal case you know about like, signing or forging loan documents saying that they had more than they did so that they could get loans to get homes or to get whatever you know what I'm saying and that was bad but they weren't like it, it's different when like Jen Shah or whatever she's being accused of scam like running a long con like scam for elderly people, you know, basically targeting someone that's vulnerable. I'm just using my um, Chanel eyebrow filler. This is what I've, this is all I've been using lately. It's so good. Um, you know, targeting someone that is vulnerable. Okay. Then you have Erica and her husband. I mean, not paying out victims and of of some. Do you do you know what I'm saying? I with a, with federal cases like that is a thing like there's these like points and I don't want to like explain it all but there is a the law is it's like a black and white thing sure like you broke the law or you didn't but as far as like your punishment or the time that you spent whatever your sentence is going to be or whatever the type of crime the severity the nature of it if it involves scamming people or like a human aspect of it there and I forgot what it's called but there's something that like if it was a case like where yeah you were doing something to target um to target someone that was vulnerable or you know what i mean then i mean it can be crazy so i don't like when people 
compare Teresa's, which was so scammy and like, which was, you know, ridiculous and awful, obviously, but it's different. It's, I think it's different when it involves like taking advantage of people or hurting people. And so I'm just kind of confused when people are like, oh, Teresa did that. It's not just about like having a crime or whatever. It's like, these are pretty bad things. But like Erica, her husband, and that Jen Shaw are being accused of, whatever, I'm not even gonna get into Jen Shaw because I just can't, I don't have the energy. But I don't know, what do you guys think? I just think it's all mess. And I think that it's not just like TV drama and stuff that's going on. It's like so interesting because you know like this real story is going on behind the scenes and it's just like about to blow up on the show because as they film this, this all happens. Like the divorce and the lawsuit and all of that. So I think that's gonna be very interesting. Um, I don't know, let's start with this for a few more minutes. New York is so messy, like, but I love it. But it's just, it's crazy. When, when, um, when Sonia was like screaming about Wells Fargo, I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. Um, I'm using the Pillow Talk mascara, the Push Up. Yeah, the Pillow Talk Push Up mascara. Um, oh my gosh, I was so into the Lancome. Love it so much. And then it just finally started um, getting a little dried out because I was just using it every single day. So I want to get another one of those, but I'm trying to use up the things that I have. But this one is really good. Um, it's very, like very dramatic, but you have to be careful with it because it's one of those like really small, like pokey brushes. I wanted, okay, let me ask you this because this is, <laughs> oh my gosh, like I don't even know. Okay, so whatever, I'm not going to cut this out because every time I want to talk about this, I end up just not talking about it or I'm like, Tiffany, like this isn't even relevant anymore but I know it is for so many of you guys. Um, and honestly, it is something that when people talk about it, it like kind of, uh, like, it's like a, it just kind of like, uh, kind of gets me. Okay, this hair, and, and also it's wet, so like, I, I wanna keep moving it around because I don't want it to get like big. See, now I have a big crease. But it kind of looks wavy. I don't know, we'll see what happens. This is the most together I've ever been. Maybe, whatever, you guys, I just wanna be honest, like, when people are like, Oh, well, this looks too staged. People don't like that. And then it's like, ugh, you know, talk, figure out what you're talking about. Well, then it's like, whatever. I'm not reading from a script. Like, this is YouTube. Like, if you want little, you know, whatever, like, contrived, concise things, then go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like talking to you guys, and I think that the people are here. Get that? Um, whatever. <laughs> just Y'all know, this is just, like, truly me getting ready in the morning. Like, this is not, like, let me be perfect and know the exact things to say. I don't know, I just turn the camera on and I'm going for it and we're just talking, so. So I have this thought always that I wanna do a video and share my experience with something that I feel like isn't really relevant anymore for me, but I'm like, it is for people like every single day. And I know I've had friends that have had babies and or even I hear people talking about this and it's one of the biggest things that people talk about is like breastfeeding and it's like, oh my, I know, but like, I didn't have like this great, it was fine. I look back and I'm like, it was perfect. It was fine for me. But like, it wasn't what you always hear about. And of everything during my pregnancy and like delivery and then postpartum, that was the hardest. And it's not even like, oh, it's physically hard. It was like, just the way it made me feel my experience and like how, like even like nurses at the hospital, I just treated you about it or just like I don't know and and just feeling like oh my gosh like it's not you know I'm not doing something right or whatever because all you see of people that do talk about breastfeeding is like anyone that's had this great experience so then they make it their platform or they're like look at me breastfeed like I'm so great at this like this is gonna be my thing and it's like to me I just I don't ever want to like because that was what I wanted to do but it's like at the same time, like, that's what everybody's goal is. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a natural thing, and I just feel sometimes like, okay, enough already. Like, we get it. Like, it's a great thing, but all you ever hear is, like, the wonderful stories. And then if someone does say, oh, I had a hard time, well, then all the people that have the perfect situation comes, oh, well, you didn't do this, you didn't do that, you didn't, and yes, I did, and it just but it makes you feel just so like defeated sometimes. And I just would love, and now that like I'm on, it's like that was six years ago, 
on the other side, like even just a couple months after I wanted, you know, after I stopped, I wanted to like talk about it. And then I was like, no, I don't want to because I just didn't even want to talk about it. But then I'm like, it would help someone. And then I'd plan to do the video. And then I wouldn't because I'm just like, oh, no, or it's been too long. Like, it's not even a thing. I have this really long, squirrely eyelash down here that is like hanging on by a thread. And it's like so obnoxious. Um, I don't know. I mean, and then I'm like, if I did that, it's like I've had my child like six years ago. I think I have a lot of good information and like a good experience to share that might make someone else feel better. But then at the same time, I'm just kind of like, ugh, like I don't want to talk about it, but I do. But that's, and then sometimes I'm just like, mm, I don't know, like is that, <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, well yeah, your experience is your experience, like should I bring it up and talk about it? I don't know, but the only reason I would want to is just honestly to help somebody because I feel like when I was going through it, there wasn't a lot of, there was nobody that really like, I don't know, that really talked about that a lot. I mean, there was some, but it was like, maybe for the same reason that I had, I, not like an ashamed type of thing, but just like, I know what I'm gonna get. I know if I put this story out there, or if I talk about my experience, all I'm gonna hear is, oh, but listen to what happened with me. And I'm like, I get that's what happened with you, but I'm sharing what happened with me. And while it doesn't always work out, I see people that really do feel bad, um, or it's, it makes, the whole experience makes them feel bad if something goes wrong. Or, you know, I don't know. Would you, here's what. I feel like it would be helpful, but would you guys be into something like that? I just don't even know at this point if I should. I just feel kind of like dumb about it, like just now sharing. You know, and I know over the years I have shared a little bit just about like just a few funny things or how I felt about like the, the books and the, you know, but especially being so many years out now, it's just kind of like, I look back and I'm like, that's not even what was important. And you see so many people that put so much importance on it. Maybe I can, you know, it's just like some things you look back on and you're like, that's not what was important. You know, that didn't even matter. And my child is like, fine, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not saying I didn't, I did, but it's just the, the story, I don't know you guys, what do you, what do you think? Cause I know like you hear me share some things about all kinds of other stuff. Is that something that would be worth it to talk about? Whenever I do that stick blush, I always like blend it with my fingertips. This one, oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, the stick one, I'll put the color and everything, but I take a dry brush sometimes and just kind of go around the edges. Um, and it kind of looks just like glowy and pretty. That's what I feel like I've liked lately, kind of like a glowiness. And the highlighter, I've just, I always go back to this. I always go back to the Laura Mercier. Um, and I'll link to the little um, contour thing that I used, which I really like. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think that would be dumb? Would you like to see a video about like my whole breastfeeding experience? I'm like, cause that's again, something that I'm always like, ugh, I don't wanna ever, Cause I know that would get views. Like I know people would like it, but that's not why I want to do it. And I don't want it to seem like that. I just think it would honestly be something that could help other people. Maybe if you're going through that. Cause I'm like, gosh, I know a lot of you guys are having babies just cause like that was a long time ago for me. doesn't mean someone else is going through that. And it's still, whenever someone talks about breastfeeding or they talk about, you know, oh, they're struggling or they're stopping. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could. You know, I just want to tell them about like, what I went through and you know, people, what people say, and that's not, that's honestly why I didn't talk about it a lot. Cause I'm like, I, people's opinions aren't going to change anything with my child. If not, they just make you feel bad. You know what I mean? And you know, people that in my real life that I talked to about it were supportive, but like sometimes it's just hard to put things out there when you're like, gosh, like I'm already going through something kind of, that's like a struggle. I, the last thing I want to hear is like other people's opinions if it's going to make me feel bad. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, I know I would have really loved to have seen someone that could have shared their experience. You know what I mean? Like if I could have seen a video where someone was sharing something um, similar, you know, that would, that would have made me feel good. And I don't know if it's just because I'm like not a like new new mom you know anymore or what but I just remember like everything was so judging I'm sure like if you are a new mom now or you have like 
no matter what you do, no matter what, everyone was just so judgy. And of course that was like six, seven years ago when I was pregnant, seven years ago, you know, everything that I would do or say, and I kind of am good about that anyways. Like, I don't really care what people say, like I block it out, but at some point it's just like, my God, like just, it's exhausting to see people, you know, saying dumb stuff or, you know, saying something that's wrong. Um, I've always done well with that, I feel like, in kind of all aspects of this, like babies or just me or anything, like people's opinions on anything that I do. But I, you know, I just kind of learned, like, just to share and not worry about it. But I do feel like it has gotten better over the last several years. People, I don't want to say you're nicer because now that I say that, everybody's going to be like, I'll show you. Like, I'll be real being not okay. But I feel like all of that has gotten so much better. Just like the online hate and all. And maybe people just see like, okay, well, she doesn't care. Like, you know, it's not going to really get to her. Um, so they just don't bother. But, you know, I just always say this, like, look at all the crap over the last, not crap, but it looks like 13 years here. Like so much good, like all the good comments, all the... But look at all of the things that were like so bad, or don't, um, like bad things that people said or whatever. And I'm like, well, but my life has gotten better and better and better and better. Like the comments don't matter. Like what bad, you know, unhappy people say, and what unhappy people say or bad things doesn't, is never gonna affect your life. You just can't, um, you just have to know where it's coming from and then you just don't take it seriously. But I do know the power of supportive things and that's why I think that would be kind of good, you know what I mean? Like to do something like that. I don't know how to word it, but even just like people being themselves, people are more, I don't wanna say tolerant, but I've seen that a lot. Like I don't, people are just less, I mean there's, of course there's like hate, there's bad stuff on the internet, but like I do feel like it's gotten better. <laughs> I don't know, like I just feel like now, you know, you come out, you say, okay, well this is what I'm doing with my child, this is what, I, and that's kind of what I always did, but then of course like I haven't, you know, I keep a lot of things private, like with everything, obviously, like I wouldn't put everything on the internet, no one should. Um, but just the things that I do, put out there, like, I don't know, like maybe I'm just more confident like in, okay, well this is what I'm doing, I don't care what you say about it. I don't know, I just feel kind of like, I don't know, and I'm sure like the mom police and stuff is still out there, like people, I don't know, maybe it's just because I've heard more people like talking more openly about stuff like that or it's because like social media has been around even longer now than it was, you know, seven years ago, obviously. But I just, I don't know. And maybe I'm saying it's better because I'm not in the thick of it. I'm not posting like baby stuff and getting all of these like opinions and oh, she's wearing the wrong shoes. You're doing this wrong. Oh, she has, she's doing this wrong. And I'm like, no, like, it's just so ridiculous. Um, but I just remember how crazy judgy the whole breastfeeding topic was and how like, ugh, it was just, it was crazy. And I didn't even want to put a video out like talking about it. But then, you know, a year later, two years later, there's been, it's always on my little list of things that I want to talk about because I know it would help somebody. Um, just that whole experience, do you know what I mean? And to hopefully make someone feel better about it and to not feel like ashamed if it doesn't work out and to kind of, you know, know a little more about what to expect and to just be like confident about your decisions um, and kind of like know what to expect. I don't know. I don't know. Because I feel like everything that you, is just so rosy, you know, like all these people, oh, look how easy it is for me. Well, yeah, but I'm not you, do you know? So I don't know, that might be kind of interesting. I almost forgot. So I don't know, I might do that. Let me know what you guys think. Should I do that? I don't know. Um, I don't know, let me know. But this is the most important part. Oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff is so good. And I spray my beauty blender a little bit and then right under my eyes. It is almost time for me to get Botox again. I think it was like four months ago when I did it. That's mine usually wears off like three, four months. It doesn't last very long. So there's always like months that I go where like it's totally worn off. So it's almost time for me for me to do. But honestly though, you guys, I used to have such bad like crow's feet here and I don't get Botox around my eyes. Um, I have it in probably, I think the last time I got it was maybe like close to a year ago. I don't think the last two times I've gone, I've gotten it around my eyes. I've done that a couple times and I like it, but I don't know if it really makes that huge of a difference with me. I, I will say, 
I feel like the skincare stuff that I've used, and I know that's crazy, but it has really helped. I really do feel like it's, you know, it's about worn off. Like, obviously, I'm like very expressive. Um, but my forehead, you know, I just, I like the way it keeps my skin smooth. I haven't gotten it around my eyes. I don't think the last two times I've gone, so there's definitely none around my eyes. But um, even my just, my crow's feet around my eyes, I think over the years, I feel like I've gotten better just from using you know, better products and you know, you always get that little bit of like, and if you use this, I mentioned the Botox because I'm like, a lot of people don't, okay? And when they're like, look how smooth this makes my skin, like no, okay? I'm just like, I'm just filling you in, okay? Just letting you know. But if you spray this on a beauty blender, and at the very end, like after your makeup is like set and whatever, and you know, you just don't want your concealer or your makeup to like kind of settle into those lines, take the, the end of the beauty blender after you've sprayed it and just lightly dab it and it almost like sets it in a way where your makeup won't settle into those lines anymore and I just feel like it kind of sets that whole area but yeah you guys that's it that's it for the whole look I just think it's such an easy glam way to do your makeup like good products I didn't use a whole ton of everything natural colors but you look like glowy and, and rusted. I just, I don't know, this is just my favorite way to do it. Check out this, I don't think I talked about it much when I was putting it on, but the white Russian sparkle, you guys. Y'all not like, I, I don't know, I just, when I saw they had this, I was just so excited. I think my white Russian gloss is in my purse, but I've always said, oh, you know, the white Russian's my favorite in the cream. It's the perfect pink, which it is. But then I like a little bit of sparkle, so I use this, this This is just like all I'm gonna buy now. I mean, I don't need to buy all those other ones. The White Russian Sparkle, so good. Um, so excited about that. I'll link to everything that I used. And um, yeah, it was kind of fun just turning the camera on and not really having an agenda today, but just talking about whatever popped into my mind. Um, but I'll link to everything that I used. Thank you guys so much for watching with me. I will link to my Rex for the Nordstrom sale, the clothes that I showed, the clothes that I'm wearing. And um, thank you guys so much for being with me today. And I'm gonna take my hair down, head out. Not too bad of a crease. <laughs> I just had to get it on my face while I was doing my makeup. But. So thank you guys again for watching. Love you so much. Um, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for sticking with me. Um, I will link to, like I said, everything that I used, all the clothes and everything, the recs from that Nordstrom sale that is only going to last for a couple more days, so don't miss it. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you so much. I'll see you later. Bye.